The United States Border Patrol has exciting and rewarding career opportunities with the nation's largest law enforcement organization. Border Patrol agents enjoy great pay, outstanding federal benefits, and up to $20,000 in recruitment incentives. If you are looking for a way to serve something greater than yourself, consider the U.S. Border Patrol. Learn more online at cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. That's cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. This is the JJO Morning Show Podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Today is National Taco Day. I like tacos! Tacos! Hot tacos here! This beloved and delicious food is honored each year on October 4th. Soft or hard shell, flour or corn? I got tacos, hard tacos, I got soft tacos. Oh, I love tacos on a corn tortilla! Today is National Taco Today Day. Today is National Taco Day. I brought tacos. We're celebrating National Taco Day. So, tacos? Who wants tacos? I'm buying. It's showtime. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. That's nice. Uh, yeah, dude, National Taco Day. Oh, it's also National Cinnamon Roll Day and National Vodka Day. So oh, you could really whoop it up. Perfect any day. Yeah. Uh, so a recent poll found only 5% of us don't like tacos. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, a few national chains have deals. Including Del Taco, Taco John's, but T-Bell is getting most of the attention for two big announcements they just made. So I guess they brought back Taco Lovers subscription pass. Who, Del Taco? About this. No, Taco Bell. Oh, Taco Bell. T-Bell. Have you ever had a Del Taco? No. I had my first one uh, out west last year. Fantastic. Good. Better than Taco Bell. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm still mad about the seven-layer burrito and the green sauce. Good, good. It's good. Feel the anger rise in you, young Jedi. It was cl- that was so close, and you know what? I, I, I was like, I was like lasering it to your brain with my eyes. I was like, say I, it. I knew I, sc- I knew it. I was screwing it up as I said it, though. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So I don't even know what the Taco Lover subscription pass for ten bucks. You get a taco a day for the next month. A okay. taco a day. <laughs> How much is that? Ten bucks. That's not worth it. Whatever. But you get a cool little taco passport with your picture in it. That'd be cool. I don't know that you get a taco passport, but that would be worth 10 bucks. That would totally be worth 10 bucks. So, and I guess this is a big announcement for people. They're selling actual breakfast tacos later this month. Their current breakfast menu has burritos, quesadillas, and crunch wraps, but no tacos. So, uh, it's just going to be your standard eggs, cheese, bacon, potatoes, toasted tortilla. Um, they will be uh, hitting menus October twelfth, and the fast food thing, uh, the Curter Burger, be bad. Hey, 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 hey! How do you feel about the fajita? I love fajitas. Yeah, I do too. You know, call me simple and boring, and uh, I uh, often do brainwashed, but I still like the steaming fajita at Chili's. I don't care what you say. I don't know that I've ever had just the fajitas that at Chili's. It just comes but... smoking right to your table. Yeah. I love it. A lot of uh, joints will have the fajita plate like that. Mm-hmm. And then I'll have the little, uh, the little not... oven mitt on the end right, of this right. skillet I, so uh, your dumb ass doesn't touch it. I'm not fancy like, uh, but that Chili's fajita to me is one of the joys of life. Oh, yeah. I, like... I, don't, I don't care what you say. I don't care if you think I'm a cheap skate. I don't care. Yeah, dude, no one's attacking you. You're allowed to like fajitas. No, I know, I know there will be snooty people that say Chili's is, oh. you, know, n- you know, not up to standards. It's not a traditional Mexican restaurant. Oh, yeah, I don't know much about it. My uh, my wife, Chrissy, always gets, when we go to El Alagre and DeForest, she gets the same, she's a broken record, dude, Verde's Enchilada. Yeah. The three uh, corn tortillas with the chicken and the... Uh, whatever sauce, green sauce. Yeah, that's what Barry. She is just a broke, broken record, dude. They have a thing called um, Mole Cajeta. Mole Cajeti. Mole Cajati. Closer, yeah. Better. Yeah. <laughs> Better, isn't it? Uh, dude, it, it's got, it's this giant yeah. bowl. And I mean, huge. 
and it's got steak, chicken, fish, shrimp. They ever it's oh like, yeah, dude, it's, like it's the, amazing. It's like the kitchen sink. It's the best. I've had those at Dama guys. Uh, oh. Here we go. Okay, which is uh, now it's how time. do you say? Uh, is for the mocajete, which mocajete. is mocajete. Mocajete. Yeah, that's it. Totally. It comes I in this highly giant, recommend it. this old fired pottery bowl. It's like a four-pound bowl. Yeah. It's fantastic. That's what makes it a molcajete. Molcajete. Is the bowl. Yeah, you can, that's a that's for two people. You eat that, you're oh, going yeah. to... You ain't going to poop for a week, you eat that whole but thing. But it's good. It's fantastic. Yeah, and like, I don't know, we ordered one one time and it had like sweet tails Oh, it's got like it. water chestnuts. It's it's insane. Yeah, I think, yeah, they're good. good. And I suppose you can get a better version of that. Uh, El Alagre in the force is fantastic. And wow. I know Aranda's is good too. We, we're we blessed with two Mexican great restaurants there in the forest. Well, we have a drama in Crick. Oh, shit. Let me get my drama pants on. Yeah, the community page, and it's settled down now. But for a minute, it was Uh-oh. pretty irritating because we had a new, we have a new Mexican restaurant in town. It's uh, Mastla. No, what is it? Something. Let me see. I got to remember how to pronounce it. Uh-oh. Yeah. They're ruffling feathers. No, they came to town, and uh, <clears throat> it's it's great. Uh, yeah, uh, Mazatlan. So, good quality Mexican food, and it's a little more expensive than the other Mexican joint in town. And so people, it was so mixed. Somebody posted, they're like, oh, I'm, this is great, the margaritas are good, da 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 And then there was, like, haters I got this quesadilla at Qdoba, and it was only four dollars or whatever, and it was just this back and forth about the new place, either whatever being too expensive mm-hmm. or yada yada yada, and then it was either defenders or haters. It was so weird, but then it was started taunting. People would be like, "I'm at this Mexican place." And look at what I left for a tip, and you're like, Jesus Christ, y'all! Like, wow. yeah, sounds like an old-fashioned Mexican standoff. Uh, right, it was. <laughs> I, well, why were they arguing about a tip? I have. They were oh. arguing about everything. Weird. It shouldn't cost this much to go yeah, to eat. Yeah, right, right. Yes, it should if you want fresh sure, ingredients. Sure. Right, right. Back and forth. If you think, let me tell you something. I like Taco Bell, <laughs> but the difference between Taco Bell and El Alagre. Right. It's about 18, exactly. 18 light years. It was so absurd. <laughs> it was just the most absurd. Come on. Crap at ever. Least, at least be honest. That community page be lit. <laughs> I cannot wait until today when the EAS test happens because people are going to be on there. Did you get that on your phone? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, my God. Goodness gracious. Yeah. And then every month when we test the gosh darn tornado siren, people be up in arms about it. Wow. And then Why were there sirens? Why is my garbage can knocked over? The garbage disposal guy's got it out for me. It's like, oh my God. People, relax. What a complete waste. We are killing it online. Have you guys checked the comments? Of cyberspace. (laughs) Smoke That Skin Wagon says, you guys are killing it. The JJO Morning Show Podcast. We're internet sensations. Johnny and D, nowhere but JJO. Okay, a police officer in California who won an award for having the most DUI arrests has been arrested for... Oh, I'm going to guess DUI. I'm drunk. That was a hard one. Oh, my God. Um, Here is the MAD. I believe that is Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uh, the program specialist and law enforcement liaison, mm-hmm. Lori Bergenstock. Lizzie O. He's uh, reacting to the arrest of Raymond Barantes. I'm surprised constantly by who gets drunk driving arrests. We work very, very closely with West Sac Police Department, and um, we're trusting that they're going to handle it well internally and that the officer will be held accountable, which is what's important to us. It is... Not always who you expect it to be. 
<laughs> so he was pulled over just before noon on Saturday. He was off duty at the time, so that's good. Yeah, better. Uh, yeah, he's on paid administrative leave. Better ish. While the department investigates the situation. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah. Do you, how drunk was he? Did say? It didn't did say. Say. They aren't blasting that out all over the internet. So. <sighs> Yeah, I, I, you know, drunk or is going to drunk. I, I don't know what to tell you. Take, it's so easy to call somebody. I just, it's so weird. How do you think I've stayed out of trouble for four, 20 years? Well, well, I'll be 40. So 20, well, 20 years. If you're 40. So finish the story. I'm like 12. Just finish the story. God. That was the end of the story. Oh. Uh, yeah, whatever. To be human is to be. True that, dude. A hypocrite, you know? True that. Like, there's, no matter how <clears throat> how good you try to live and mm-hmm. how much you try to not, there is going to be at least an ounce of hypocrisy in you. Or 12 ounces more of wine. Or, that's right. Yeah. Or three more pours. I don't know, dude. I, I cut people a wide path when it comes to having a glass of wine and being over the limit. I mean, you know, come on. Let's, yeah. not, let's not get carried away. No. But anyways, sorry. I know that's not the, the right thing to say. but Since when do we say the right thing? <laughs> uh-huh. I tried. All right. Someone polled 10,000 Americans and asked them three philosophy questions. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> that we've all heard before. Just put an F down right now. <laughs> F it. So uh, these are all questions. I didn't know. Were- I didn't know when I was a kid in school. Back when you got an F, it literally meant F it. You're going to be a a loser. F it. You're not even worth our time. Yikes, bro. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. (laughs) So 10,000 people. Here we go. Uh, They were asked three questions we've all heard. Is a glass half full or half empty? Okay. So uh, how would you answer that? Um, For me, and I like beer. It's it's always half empty, which puts me in a panic mode and makes me look for the bartender. Okay. Philosophically speaking, uh, I don't like running out of booze. Yeah, we understand. Now, uh, but the, uh, oof. Uh, otherwise, dude, are you, <laughs> do you need a maneuver? <laughs> Donut is trying to choke me out. God. Holy crap! <laughs> The Swallow. revenge of the donut. Swallow. You been, <laughs> we taught you to swallow. Now swallow. Uh, what was I saying? No, I'm a, I'm a, a philosophically speaking, a half full kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Sure. Def- definitely. You need a reason to get up in the morning. Come on, man. 61% said they usually think of the glass as half full. Sure. Uh, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's right. there, does it still make a sound? Yes. That's uh, a conspiracy theory. Don't fall for it. 5G! <laughs> Only 8% said it doesn't make a sound. Find them and punch them right in the face. Please do. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, uh, I'm going to say the, uh, well, that now we're getting into religion here. I'm going to say um, a form of egg because it, we came out of the primordial ooze, whatever the... The, the mochahete. The mochahete. <laughs> what else? Oh, he says it. Look at the look at the at the beginning of time is a mochahete, <laughs> full of steak and chicken and fish and mystery meat. The mochahete, uh, as I call God, mochahete. <laughs> oh, mighty Macaholte, come to my table with wine and plenty of nacho chips and salsa. <laughs> That's my church. <laughs> El Alagre. <laughs> Mulcahete. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm in an Indiana Jones movie. Um, right. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, I will believe uh, that the uh, egg came first. Uh, I'm with that. 
uh, you know, whatever, I it, I, uh, I whatever laid an egg and it was uh, mutated uh, and it just kept going right. until it, it finally made the chicken. It, it's a trick question because it mutated. Whatever right. it became the chicken was a mutation. Right. The, unless you believe 5,000 years ago, God set everything down on the planet as it is. Right. So it depends on how you look at it. So 44% of people said the chicken, 32% said the egg, and 24% can't decide. Take a stand. <laughs> Dude, I know. <laughs> God. It's not that serious. <sighs> just answer have, the have, question. <laughs> just pick one. It's more fun to argue. Right. I mean, God. Is it that hard? I guess so. We thought uploading to the cloud oh. was something completely different. The JJO Morning Show Podcast. Johnny and D. JJO. It's hump day and I'm moving just a little slow. Hi, everybody. Happy hump day. Um, hopefully you have the kids at school. You've been warned. Um, now we talk about our buttholes. <laughs> uh, butthole free because Lance is not here. Oh, that's true. He is the maestro of buttholes. Uh, sex expert, and I don't know why we don't just call her a sexpert, Emily Morse, begins her day like many motivated morning people do. Just some water and a workout. It's then that her routine begins to sound a little different. <laughs> Again, that's warning number two, if you're still listening. Then I try to do my meditate, masturbate, manifest <laughs> practice. Saw it coming a mile away. Uh, what now? But that's not always accessible. There have been uh, times where I've made that my goal for 30 days, and it's really amazing what happens. But I always meditate for at least 10 minutes. Then I can do all the other things. I check in with my assistant. Maybe that's why you can do all the other things. We go over the schedule for the day and the outstanding uh, emails that came in. Every day is different. If I'm interviewing guests, I'm reading their book, or I'm prepping for a show, or for meetings for my team. Then the interviewer goes, can you walk me through the <laughs> meditate, masturbate, and manifest practice? Meditation is an important part of releasing ourselves from the jail of our thoughts, and it allows me to be more mindful, more aware, and more present. Masturbation is a really healthy practice, whether you're in a relationship or not. Choking the chicken! One of the benefits of masturbation is that the orgasm signals our parasympathetic nervous system to start down-regulating and calming the body. At that time, the brain's also pumping out serotonin. Yeah. Which is responsible for our good mood relaxation. Shake hands with the milkman, lady. So the neuro dick hands everywhere. So the neurochemistry of having an orgasm is really helpful helpful for calm and clarity. It's a really great time to manifest and to think about what you want to be happening. What do you want to happen that day? Well, I'd like to stay home and masturbate. Not, <laughs> dial the old rotary phone. What do you want to happen in the next month? I often use it to think about my day. I'm sure the people that you're having meetings with don't really want to think about you, thinking about them right after you rubbed one out. Turn on the man sprinkler. How am I feeling? What am I doing? I picture myself in these moments. Come here and scratch Yoda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's such a point of clarity after masturbation. Hey, dude, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, yeah, there you go, dude. I, I uh... Those are rookie numbers. So her idea is if you do meditation, masturbation, manifestation, yeah. uh, it links your pleasure with your goals, So, uh, which kind of makes sense okay. that it would assist you in crushing goals. I See, when I uh, do that, I'm not thinking about goals. I'm thinking about Sofia Vergara. I mean, I'm sorry. That's just the way it goes. But that's a goal. She's a goal. It's going to be hard for me to not take a nap after that. But I'll have to kidnap her to make that goal happen. That's the only. That's where it gets sideways. That's yeah. It's, that and that's where the FBI called me up. Yeah, for sure. She starts her day with that. That's interesting. So she doesn't fap and nap. She naps then faps. Naps and then faps. Maybe I'll reverse it. Why not? 
Uh, so why is it important to link pleasure with your goals? We're a society that loves to get things done. It's all about working and knocking everything off your to-do list and achieving certain goals. Pleasure often becomes the reward. We only think we deserve it after we do all the things. My mission is to get people to prioritize pleasure as part of their overall mental and physical health. I'm not just talking about sex. It's getting a massage or hanging out with your friends. What gives uh, you pleasure? It's more fun with uh, somebody else. I'm going to... I like to save it up. What if this is my goal? So I'm trying meditate, masturbate, manifest. Who, you? Yeah. Great. I'm going to try it. Does the masturbation part happen during the show, or does that is that later? You'll never know. <laughs> yeah, it will. I can... Well, I have to, so... I'm keeping an eye on you. She wants you to <laughs> meditate first. If, if you're doing the news and throw a blanket over yourself, I'm going to know exactly what's going on. You need to mind your own business. <laughs> My hair always so nosy. <laughs> Damn. Hey, if you put a a blanket over here and do that thing, will you cut some holes in the eyes so I can? I'll just be looking at you when I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or holes in the blanket, not your eyes. That would be bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All I see is these two gi- giant eyeballs. Add just... another song. I'm almost done. <laughs> put on the tool song. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pow! There you go. I, it, it makes sense. So it's almost, uh, it feels like what um, McConaughey was doing in a scene in Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. He goes, he goes um, you Jay off? And DiCaprio goes, uh, yeah, yeah, two, three times a week. He goes, rookie numbers. I do it I do it twice, three times a day, w- once in the morning, once after lunch. He goes, I don't want to. I have to. I have to feed the geese. And uh, if you don't, you'll split your deferential and fall the, yeah. hell, the hell over. So in a way, that was uh, a, a tell there. That was a bit of a tell there from McConaughey. You know, he does it to clear his mind, so yeah. he, so he can focus on well, work, that's what he, on, on the on, on the bigger goal. I, I, exactly. Yeah. That's so weird. I think she stole it from McConaughey. Whatever. She's practicing it, and she says it's fantastic. Anyway. I. It all makes sense. It makes total sense. Sure. You know, because usually, like, a lot of, when you're goal setting, I suppose, it's kind of, for a lot of people out there, it's kind of a harumph task. Why do I got to make goals? I hate making goals. Da, 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 da. But, yeah, I mean, that's, if you can make that a pleasurable experience, all of a sudden, Setting goals and thinking about your goals. Balance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hot damn. Does it come with the fact that she is she single? Um, Did I, I don't miss know. that? All right. I wonder if that probably is a thing. Whatever. I'm having more sex than I ever had in my life, and I'm still rubbing one out. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for sharing. Whatever. Dude, I didn't think. Listen, being in your 40s is not as bad as everybody says. No, it is. you're supposed to be peaking right now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Aren't you blindy peaking right now? I think peaking was in your thirties, wasn't it? Let me look. When no. You've been blessed. Well, you are the sausage queen of spring green. Thank you. I mean, you have a standard. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, thirties. I'm not going to question you and your body wash and your forty minute shower. I don't care what you do. Dude, no. I am a time management freak. It takes me like forty five seconds. Oh my goodness gracious! I've heard Dude, about people like I'm you. I'm goal oriented. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, must be a hot NPR show you got to go listen to or something out in the car. <laughs> you going that quick? You go put out listen to Larry Mueller in the garden uh, hall. Oh, now there, <laughs> that is uh, Larry Stare. Mueller. Larry Mueller accepts your <laughs> my what? <laughs> your um. Dedication, I guess. Well, we should all probably rub one out before 120. Oh, yeah. The EAS yep. test going to turn us all to mush. Right. So. You'll get your EAS and another man will be jaying you in a park today. Things could get <laughs> you were gayer faster. Things get a little sticky out there. And <laughs> not talking about the weather. Are we? Are we, Bob Lindmeyer? Are we? Are we, Bob? Um, yeah, but then, uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, but there's missing pieces. How many times a day does she do it? Uh, she said she does it in the morning. Okay, so there you go. Once a day. I, I was gonna say like, but she has. She said she said too. It's been her goal to do it 
30 days in a row, but right. she hasn't been able to make that happen. Right. See, us older guys, we got to we gotta save it up for the big shot at the end of the week. Yeah, you're jerking it less now? Uh, Not at all. Oh, all right. Well. Read into that what you will. Sorry about your load. <laughs> I don't know what I'm no, supposed I, to say right now. I, did you say how old she was? I guarantee you she's in her 20s and single. I'm just saying. Mm. <clears throat> so, Emily Morris, let's look that bitch up. No, I bet you she's got to be. She she's a doctor. Um. I mean, the when it comes to uh, there's a wide path of normal when it comes to masturbation. Holy crap! She's fifty three. Oh really? Oh my she's goodness, a dude. I, yeah, maybe like once a week. If I don't, I get that little twitchy eye. You know, you get that thing going on. Yeah. Things back up. So. Yeah, it's it's good for your prostate. I mean, single buddy. more often is normal. You got to clean the pipes a little bit. Hmm. What's your record? Like a day? A record for what? I don't know. A little self-pleasure? A day? What do you mean? Well, like of... how many times in a day? Sure. Oh, I don't. Like me touching me or others? No, you. I don't know. Maybe twice, maybe three times. Oh. But it's different. Like when teenage boys discover it, that's a whole other thing. That's like (laughs) 10 times a day. I was going to say. Yeah. Right. That's fairly normal. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Whose phone is going off? Uh, Mine is. It must be uh, someone sending a message on the JJO page. I can shut it off for you. It's work related. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Do with that information I, what I sw- you want. But I swear to God, at that age, I think you're producing so much fluid. You're it hurts. I swear to God, there's like a reason for it. You know, whatever. <sighs> Got to practice. I'll go with that. Practice rookie, is always good. Rookie numbers, dude. Rookie numbers. Meditation, masturbation. Manifestation. Yeah, as foretold in Wolf of Wall Street. It's so weird. That's so funny. Isn't that strange? It's almost the same exact thing it. that Matthew McConaughey wrote. So funny. He was on to something. And now look at Matt McConaughey. Do you have your own whiskey you talk about? <laughs> I didn't think so. Right. Are you driving that car? No. Right. Dumbing down your smartphone. One podcast at a time. Listen, rate, and subscribe to the JJO Morning Show Podcast. Get up with Johnny and D. JJO. All right, a Missouri high school teacher says she's been placed on leave after officials discovered that she was performing. Uh, <laughs> what was that noise? Perf- <laughs> performing Shakespeare? <laughs> no, you never, you never get put on leave for that, do you? True that. Not in English. Uh, Not yeah. in acting class. She was on OnlyFans. Uh, Brianna Coppage, twenty-eight. An uh, English teacher at St. Clair High School says her teaching days are probably over. She acknowledged she knew the risks. She said she was put on leave Wednesday after being uh, interviewed by two administrators. Her access to school email and other software was suspended. The district is investigating. Mm, they're doing deep dive research. I'll uh, do a uh, deep dive on this broad. Uh, early feds. Do we have a picture? Yeah. May I see him? Sure. May I see the broad in question? Oh, she's looks like a kindergarten teacher. And she teaches high school. Um, <clears throat> yeah, she's she's got she's the cute. outfit. Yeah, she's cute. Whatever she, yeah. I mean, so what's the problem? You can't do OnlyFans and be a teacher. Them, I guess them boys getting all horned up. It was kind of always like this cloud hanging over my head. <laughs> I never knew when I would be discovered. She said. Uh, about two weeks ago, my husband and I were told that people were finding out about it, so I knew. It's just they make this s- day was coming. Makes so, much, so much money on OnlyFans, though it's incredible. Bad Bobby made like fifty million dollars. Yeah, I know. 
I can't believe how much money y'all be spending on cam girls. A teacher trying to make your ends meet? Come on, man. Right. So, Superintendent Kyle Cruz. Kyle! Said in a statement that the district was recently notified that an employee may have posted inappropriate media on one or more internet sites. District has engaged legal counsel to conduct a comprehensive investigation into this matter. Actions taken as a result of the investigation will be in accordance with board policy and well, with guidance from legal counsel. Pay them more. I mean, uh, the high school's got about 750 students. Are they? So they're not porn stars. They're not doing any any uh, right act. I mean, sexual act. Yeah, sure they are. Oh, they are. Yeah. With other people. Sure, they can do that. Oh, okay. Is she? I don't know what she's oh, doing. Okay. I, I just thought you wa- pranced around in your broad panties. You can do that. Right. You can do whatever. You can have a OnlyFans where you're typing on a keyboard. It's like the more famous you are, the less you have to take off on OnlyFans. Okay, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I think that Bad Baby is... She doesn't get naked, I don't think. Bad Baby? Yeah. I, I don't know. I haven't I think she's just... there. I'm not paying... You give me the company credit card, I'll pay. Yeah. Uh, Cabbage said she joined the OnlyFans website over the summer to supplement her salary as a second year sure. teacher. Sure. Yeah. Um, Forty two thousand dollars a year they were paying. That's her. not going to work. That's not. No. That's. You all need to realize that ain't going to work. She earned an additional eight to ten grand a month performing <laughs> on OnlyFans. I hope you squirreled some of that away, girlfriend. She chose the site because its content is available only to subscribers. So she thought it would help protect her identity. She said she didn't know how the district learned of her account. She insisted no content was filmed or posted while she was on school grounds. I'm very aware that I'm probably never going to teach again, but that was kind of the risk I knew I was taking. Sure. I'm sad about that. I do miss my students. She's not. Oh, sure. I'm sure she but does. But Copper said her account has gained new subscribers since word began to surface. She has more than doubled her subscription price and plans to continue posting on the site. Yeah, why? If you're already making eight to ten grand a month, yeah, you, you, that's your calling. I mean, I, I appreciate her service because we're already short teachers, aren't we? Yeah, but she, like she said, I don't think sex work has to be shameful. Well, right. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know why we don't leave. Well, whatever. I guess it, it, you're working for somebody else, so it's their standard. But yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I don't know. I'd have to see in what context she's, what she's doing. Well, I'm going to need that company credit card. Or have that kick to get a sample. She's just there with the corduroy patch out. Can we, for a dollar, get a 15-second clip or something? No. Oh. I've never done no. OnlyFans. I don't know how it works. Yeah. I'm noticing. <laughs> I, <laughs> Where do you put the quarter in? Is it a peep show? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't think my wife would appreciate me on OnlyFans, so I'll take a pass. So, yeah, it's, uh, I guess you got to spend 200 bucks for a VIP oh on my God, no Bad thanks. Babies no, OnlyFans. I'm good. I'd rather go to Ho-Chunk. I, yeah, I quit the OnlyFans. I only did it during COVID because a couple of my friends that are dancers oh. started well, it. Well, what would they do? Oh, geez. She had an effing machine. <laughs> Stop. I hope that's something to do with inseminating cows. So I'm sure you can figure it out. <laughs> she wasn't dusting it. It, it is World Dairy Expo. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's our out. Anything we say <laughs> refers to. We're just talking about the World Dairy Expo. We're just talking about the world. Just think in those terms. Pull them tits. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, see? See how that works? No, but, I. I uh, and then it would be like her and her, her boyfriend. And I don't know. It was a lot to absorb. And I didn't want to. Like, but she'd send out these like messages yeah. that were like yeah. new VIP content, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I... So eventually, I was like, I have to quit because I don't... Sure. I can't pay you $10. Well, that was nice of you to do, though. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's like, you know, for any of yours bartends, you go down and... Right. You know, that's cool. And help out your homies. You know? Otherwise, what are friends for, man? So, I guess... I mean, I get it. I... I, Okay, social media, work. uh, 
conflict, students, horny. I mean, you're not paying her enough. She needs a side right. hustle. Right. So uh, she's not doing it during school hours, right. she's, on school grounds. Right, right, right. It's an adult-only subscription service. I get it. You have to sign the code of conduct, but maybe that all needs to be reviewed. Well, I well, the moral standard of a teacher, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, can, can a teacher dr- have a picture on social media drinking wine? You know, is that too much? Right. I don't know. And why are we making them out to be non-human? Can you buy a tampon at... Or right. uh, rubber and not get in trouble. Can you drop your tits out at a Mardi Gras party? Go, no. Right. No, Which absolutely is weird. not. Yeah. They're still humans. Public funding. It's all publicly funded. Man, I don't know. But uh, all right then. So you're, I, yeah. The distraction. Oh man, I remember uh, we had a our biology teacher. Uh, um, my God, I can't remember her name. Holy crap. But uh, she was so hot. And uh, you just. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she was just this tall, buxom. Uh, it was unbelievable. What was she wearing? Tight things. Yes. Every day. I'm not kidding, dude. Her taters were hanging out all over the place. You know? Uh, oh, my God. Why? Oh, I'm so. Uh, this is so weird. I can't remember her name. She was also our driving uh, instructor. Oh man! For driver's ed, she's like, and this is when you put a, a hand on a thigh. We're gonna pull over here and check out the back seat to make sure you know how the seatbelt worked. Uh, oh wow, that's so weird. Yeah, but no, I, I mean, dude, she, and she knew it. Oh my god, did she glam it up? Are you kidding me? And the scandal was she was dating one of the football players, one of our senior football players, who was a stud, who would destroy you if he wanted to how was his brad and was like oh my god he's like he's like the coolest dude ever he's nailing the biology where's he at now i don't know no clue i i don't know i don't even know no clue yeah but i mean you walked in that room and you knew you prayed that you didn't get a boner and get (laughs) called up to the chalkboard yeah dude (laughs) Okay. Uh, we didn't see. We didn't need. Uh, we didn't need it. We had our imagination. And oh man, I'm so mad. I can't remember her name. Onset, dude. Squishy, yeah, squishy fine. brain. Slipping into the shadows. Hi, how's it going? Hey, uh, I just feel as though there's a lost marketing opportunity for you guys to be broadcasting at or from the World Dairy Expo. Expo. It feels though both of you. Would appreciate a nice pair of teeth. <laughs> oh, you're damn right. You're goddamn right. No, thank you. Guys you. Have a good one. you too. I don't know why we're not. Why aren't we at the farm? Because well, the the farm people get jealous. Uh, this is our event. They say <laughs> holding bull semen. So anyway, I don't. The only thing I don't like about the about her situation is the shaming part. Yeah. Of human nature, I, that that part bugs me, mm-hmm. because you can do both. You can be an adult and do both. I mean, come on, man. Right, and for you're only making forty two thousand dollars a year to have all of these like outside work limitations right. put on you. The JJO Morning Show podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Catch a new show every Monday through Friday. 6 till 10 a.m. on 941 JJO or streaming anywhere in the JJO app. Johnny and D, nowhere but JJO.